Hi everyone, welcome to Chendu.org. This week we are celebrating Dashboard Week on Chendu.org. As part of that, I would like to revisit a very popular KPI dashboard that was constructed by a good friend of mine, Robert. Robert created a KPI dashboard way back in 2008 for Chendu.org as a guest post. Let us take a look at the dashboard that he made and how we revisited it and modified the dashboard using some of the nicer features available in Excel 2007 and 2010. So this is the dashboard that Robert made originally. Uh, the title says revisited to, but do not worry. It's the original dashboard Robert created, which has, which is a powerful way to understand what is going on with hundreds of products across five KPIs. Very quickly, let me explain to you the whole data behind this dashboard and what is the intention of this dashboard. We have some data like this where we have we are a multinational company and we are responsible for 100 products right we sell these 100 products and we measure the product performance on five different kpis kpi 1 2 3 4 5 and we have the values of these kpis for these 100 products in a data table like this and we also have targets for the kpis 1 2 3 4 5 these are the actual static targets for all the products across the KPIs and we would like to understand what is going on with our products and visualize the KPI information performance so that we have a better insights into the old whole data. There are about 500 data points and 5 target values. So the way Robert went about this is pretty simple. What he did is he set up a scrollable area for all the KPIs so that you can take a look at any 10 products at any at a point of time and you can use this scroll bar to scroll down the list or scroll up the list and see the KPI values okay a pretty interesting chart in itself the scrollable table and you can also sort by any particular KPI excuse this uh, messed up highlighting here I think there is some problem with Excel 2010 uh, but you can select any particular KPI and it will, you will be able to sort the values for that KPI like this. Okay, so this is a pretty interesting uh, way to visualize the KPI information. And okay, now what Robert also did is Robert provided a way to compare one KPI with another. So KPI four. You can say you know compare KPI 2 with KPI 1 and you can see the spread the KPI 1 is on this axis KPI 2 is on that axis and you could see how all the hundred values are scattered all the hundred products and only the display 10 how they are scattered you can also see the KPI distribution the distribution of values in the KPI range of all values you can see the display 10 values where to the range target of the KPI and total average of all the hundred products also you can see so for example you could see that on KPI 3 the average is less than the target meaning uh, you know there may be some quite some products that are performing very poorly like that so this is a very powerful dashboard that brings out a lot of insights uh, buried in the data and helps us understand what is going on now what I wanted to do was keep the original ideas that Robert had, all the good ideas like scrollable list, sorting, comparison and distribution, but maybe add a, add it a, add a little twist to it and maybe enhance it a bit in terms of uh, using different charts or different formulas or things like that. So this is the dashboard that I came up with, the KPI dashboard. Essentially the dashboard is more or less similar to what Robert did, but I have added some more complications to it. For example, if you take a look at the data, original data had only this many values, KPIs, but I also assumed that having static targets for all products is not uh, feasible. In real world, you may have a KPI value and a corresponding target. Each product might have a different target. So just to, um, keep it a bit more interesting I have defined five more columns call them as T KPI meaning target KPI and assign some values to them they are all just random numbers 
And now if you come back to the dashboard here, uh, I have added one more little, uh, actually I have added a lot of things, but let me very quickly explain what is going on here. If you look at the top area, Robert's dashboard uh, kind of jumps into the data and details abruptly. So I thought maybe it's a good idea to add a header portion to the dashboard where we show top three products by KPI. So for KPI 1, we have these products 36, 39, 65. KPI 2, we have these products. Inside the brackets, we have the actual value. And I kind of put the first one in bold and the rest of them in different uh, uh, shades of black so that you can visually see which one is top and which one is second and which one is third. Then coming to the sorting capability, I have followed pretty much Robert's lead. The only thing that I added here is the ability to restore original sort order. So if I select this button, I can go back to the way the products are originally listed in the data. Maybe there is some meaning to that. Perhaps uh, the products are listed in their alphabetical order. Then if you look at Robert's data here, any values that are more than 90 percentile or less than 10 percentile are shown with the different indicators red and green i have used the conditional formatting icon so i would show the red color icon whenever the value is less than 10 percentile and green color icon whenever it is more than 90 percentile then since we have uh, if you took, take a look at robert's dashboard the line this demonstrates the average kpi value and coloring will tell you whether it's above target or below target. Now since the targets are defined per KPI, I thought it would be an interesting way to uh, show the target as a small marker on the bar itself. So the bar is this, the marker indicates where the target is. For example, in the case of this, you can see that this KPI actual value is less than target. But these dots and these colored circles, everything is kind of cluttering up. So I have provided an option to hide the targets. If I check it, then the target information is not shown, meaning you're only looking at the actual data. If you select that, you would show the target values. So it's a nice way to hide and show the targets. Great. Then I have not changed anything in this chart. It's just a comparison of one KPI with another. Uh, one small drawback with this approach uh, of putting both boxes one next to another is that you don't know which correspond to which axis but this one is this and that one is that maybe I will add a label somewhere here then I like the Roberts chart this is more or less like a box plot although it's not really a box plot but it shows the spread of KPIs but I took it one step above and one step more and I said can we just show the distribution of the KPIs as an area chart? This is just more of a fun experiment. I'm not sure if it yields any insights because all these are random numbers. But in real world, you may have some interesting data and patterns emerging here. For example, if I restore the sorting to the original order, everything looks like just random spikes, right? Uh, but if I sort by any particular KPI, that KPI looks like this. The KPI values are so it's actually a gradual slope here, but in real in reality, you might see some peak and a long tail, or maybe uh, a bunch of products that are always doing well, and then there are some products that don't do well. I've added a little more feature here to search by any product. This is a wildcard search. So if I type in like one, I would see all the products that contain the letter one, or the number one. Or if I start typing product, uh, I would see all the products that has the name product, uh, text product. In this case, we have all products uh, have the word product in them, but uh, in reality, you might actually use it to, for example, search for chocolates or or bubblegums or whatever that you happen to sell. So when you search by that, you will, I would show a red color uh, line indicating where the particular thing is. So if I search by 23, you can see that 23 happens to be here. Right, this is pretty mediocre product. It doesn't uh, actually this for that particular KPI sorted. You can see this is pretty low. For everything else, it happens to be somewhere. Okay, so this is uh, the KPI distribution chart. 
all in all i think the original robert's dashboard as well as this new spin to the original dashboard both of them are quite interesting they provide you ways to analyze the kpi data and maybe give you some new ideas to implement in one of your dashboard projects upcoming if you are looking for a good instruction on learning this dashboard for example this particular dashboard is part of excel school dashboard package so you could learn uh, more about excel dashboards how to construct them how to uh, make better dashboards what are the good practices and all such information by joining excel school dashboard program it is a very good program and quite a lot of students join it uh, in fact i think we have about 300 students into the dashboard program currently and many of them are liking the way the lessons are progressing and benefiting a lot already so you can also join excel school and learn how to construct this dashboard step by step you could take a look at all these calculations what is going on here and understand what's happening just keep a note that uh, this particular top area is something new that i have added just today so the excel school program does not tell you how to add this but everything else is there but i guess if you have learned all these things then you already know how to make the top portion so that's about it i hope you have enjoyed this new kpi dashboard that uh, i took inspiration from the original robert's dashboard and used the same data but added some new twists to it if you like it just leave a comment below this video or on chendu.org and i will be glad to hear what you think also feel free to take this data and modify it in any which way you want you can get the information on this particular dashboard and uh, the downloadable excel file everything from this url chendu.org slash wp 2011-03-24 kpi dashboard revisited okay so that is the url i hope that's right otherwise you can get the same url from the youtube video comment section below in the description of the video also if you would like to join excel school this is the place where you would go you can alternatively google for that and you would end up on the same page thank you very much for your attention and time i hope you have enjoyed this video hope to see you more often on chandu.org thank you very much bye bye